So I've got a theory, and we're about to go and test that theory out right now. My theory is that the same content that I do on TikTok right now in a different environment might get more views. And here's why I think that. I think people are so used to seeing gaming content in some kind of RGB lit room uh, with like Funko Pops and LED lights and stuff in the background that I think if you put that same stuff in a different environment, it will interrupt that pattern and make people at least pause for a second, which is sometimes all you need on TikTok because I think my content is good. I think it is valuable. I think it adds a lot to people, but I think I'm trying to do what everyone else is doing. So here we go. We're off out on a little walk to go to what I would describe as unusual locations, at least unusual for TikTok gaming content because I'm not in front of a computer, I'm not in front of a console, and I'm not in front of a neon sign that's got my own name on it. So let's see how this goes. It's definitely these kind of situations that make me want to convince myself to get some kind of gimbal uh, just, to, just to make the shot slightly smoother. And a gimbal would just allow me to walk around without it being so bouncy, but I think I could fix quite a lot of this stuff in post-production and like, I just, I think I just want an excuse to spend like 300 quid on something. Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. Also, look at this fun place. Looks like something out of a horror film, doesn't it? Should we film something there? Yeah, maybe later. So here I am on a bridge outside, feeling pretty uncomfortable to be honest with you because my camera is all the way down there and I'm all the way up here. Should a thief take an opportune moment, they might be able to grab it and I would have to run as fast as I possibly could. And I'll be honest, I'm not wearing the right shoes for it, but these are the things we do for content. So I thought whilst I'm doing my TikTok content today, I'd also do a little vlog because I'm trying to do more uncomfortable and long form content. I want to push my short form content as much as possible. But I also want to give you guys something a bit more meaty to get into. And I promised you a lot of things when I started producing content. One of the things I promised is I'd be as transparent as I could. And I don't think I've really put enough of my content creation, full-time content creation journey out there. I think I've just been a bit shielded with it. I'll be honest, I think it's because I'm scared. It's easy for me to sit in the background and not talk too much about what's going right and what's going wrong. And there's lots going right and there's some stuff going wrong as well. But I'm trying to treat everything that goes wrong as an opportunity for me to learn. And that sounds really cliche and shitty, right? But it definitely is that. I definitely want to look at everything that's not working for me and push into that and figure out why is that not working and how can I make it work? That has to be the goal. That has to be what I'm doing. So anyway, let's go a bit further down the canal and film some TikTok content. It is a pretty beautiful day, to be fair. I used to walk down this canal quite a lot come out in the mornings and take a walk, mainly because it's preferable to do this than go and do my job, right? We used to run down here quite a lot. I nearly made it all the way into Birmingham once because this canal goes all the way down into Birmingham. It's really just uh, a really nice place to spend a bit of time. It can be a bit rough and ready sometimes around here, but I should walk more often, clear my head for sure. Okay, first TikTok video done, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Uh, someone did walk past as I'd set the camera up and sat down, and I did feel a bit like a knobhead, to be honest with you. Because who doesn't feel like a knobhead walking down the street, or a canal, or anywhere, pointing a camera at themselves and talking about video games? But I just said hello like I would any other day, and just moved on. So that's one done. We're going to head down the canal a little bit further, because there's a little like tunnels and stuff here that I think would make quite cool scenery but we'll see how we get on. I'm still walking down a canal with a camera pointed at me so just trying to embrace that feeling of being a knobhead and eventually I won't be bothered I hope. I hope it's like jumping off a high diving board and if I do it enough the fear will just go away and as long as I don't leave it too long in between jumps everything will be fine the next time I come to do this. So I did it I actually came out into the wild I say wild, it's pretty urban here, but I came out and actually filmed some videos and it wasn't as horrific as I thought it was gonna be. In fairness, I haven't seen that many people, but the people I have seen have been very kind.
I want to be clear though, this isn't just about me testing the theory, the theory that TikTok will push my videos if I produce the same content, but in an unusual place, two things that don't match together. You know, me talking about gaming content in front of a bridge on a canal doesn't make sense, but maybe that will interrupt people enough to stop it. It's also about me pushing my boundaries a little bit. I don't like to come out in public and I feel embarrassed to come out in public and talk like this. There's no one even watching me, nobody even cares. I'm sure nobody cares. And I'm gonna walk past me and maybe I think, oh, I wonder what he's doing. But apart from that, who cares what I'm doing on a public canal in the middle of the day? A, a lovely lady, someone, she just walked past me a minute ago and we like caught each other as she was walking back this way and I'm walking further down the canal. And she just said to me, uh, where I live, it's like in the black country. She's like, have you ever been to the sauna? And I said, I don't know what that is. No, what's that? And apparently if you walk down this canal here and you cross a bridge, there is a wooded area, it's called Moorcroft Wood apparently, but they call it the sauna because it's the old site of a sanatorium where uh, if you had like TP, TB or something like that, they would, they would put you in like an isolation unit there. I don't know if I'm too far away from it today, but I feel like it's a bit of a sign. Am I being told to go to the sanatorium? Am I being told to go and see, you know, is that someone like, hey, go and check that out, it might be a good place to film. She was lovely anyway. See, you expect people to be horrible. <laughs> I don't know why we expect that. Because I feel like an idiot because I've got a camera, but she was just so kind. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm definitely gonna go and check that place out. I think there's something to be said about pushing those boundaries because I don't think anything good comes easy. I think the things that we want to achieve in life are always difficult because if they weren't difficult, everyone would be doing them. And that's a motto that I have tried to live by. Even if I understand it intellectually, I haven't always lived by it, but I've tried to live by it. If it was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. So here I am trying to do the difficult stuff out in the wild. I hope you enjoyed this installation of Charm Diaries and I'll see you on the next one.